Hi, this is Stacy with Lily Bean Crafts by Stacy. Welcome back. And if it's your first time, thanks for stopping by. So today I'm going to be working with a 32 ounce plump that got destroyed and it was in my strip pile. And I decided to revamp it and turn it into something new. And I just got in this neon splatter foil that I got from Southern Belle Glitter. And I also have the Wicked Shimmer Glue that I got from her as well. So I didn't really have a plan for this. I just had a vision in my head of how I wanted this to be. And just about everything went wrong until everything went right. And I'm going to take you through the process. So I started with the Wicked Shimmer Glue. And yes, it spilled all over my table, which was kind of like a preset of how this tumbler was going to go for me. But I went ahead and used it anyways, applied it to the entire tumbler, and then let it dry. So I went ahead and cut out enough of the neon splatter foil to cover the entire tumbler. And you're going to see that there are some lines and some crinkling in it. And that's okay because I really wanted it to have a distressed look and it came out exactly how I wanted it to be. The glue was ready. I went ahead and I wrapped the tumbler with the foil. Like I said, you're going to see that there's some wrinkling and crinkling in it, and that's okay because that goes with the distressed look. And you just want to make sure that you press it down and really rub it so that when you peel off the backing, you get the foil to stick to your tumbler. And it was amazing. I could have put a couple coats of epoxy on it and been done with it, but no, I wanted to do more. I did put about 15 mLs of my fast set epoxy on it here. And the next thing that I'm going to do is take about 10 mLs of epoxy and I'm going to put it in little cups, six cups to be exact. And I'm going to go ahead and add some glitter to those cups and to the epoxy that's in there. I'm using Chase Ray's Neon Summer Series um, bundle. So I went in with Sherbert, Lemon Drop, Mojito, Snorkel, and Daphne. And I also use Lisa, which is such an amazing hot pink. I also put a cup with some Alumalite white resin dye. I put a couple drops in there. I wanted it to be heavy on the dye. I wanted it to be really opaque looking because my plan was to put the white resin dye down and then put the glitters over it with the epoxy so that I can get a, a nice swirl look and have it still be super neon. And it just didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. And this was about the point that I realized that my plan was just not going to work the way that I hoped it would. And so I decided to pivot and I covered as much of the tumbler as possible with the white epoxy dye so that I can make it opaque, knowing that when I put the glitters on there with them being neon, that the white would really make them pop, which it did, but it completely transformed the look of the tumbler that I was going for. So now I'm just doing a traditional swirl. Um, since the cup was already on the turner and it had epoxy on it, I just decided to keep it on there. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to blend all of the colors accordingly. And the white underneath did work out beautifully. It is super bright. The, the neon really shines through. And I just decided that this was my opportunity to take it to the next level and trust the process. I'm 
But since we're on the subject of these neon glitters, I am super excited to announce that I'm now an affiliate for Chase Ray Creations. I am beyond ecstatic about this. Um, I do get a 15% discount with my discount code, and I'll go ahead and I'll list that in the description for you. And I'm going to go ahead and let this dry for three hours. And once this is done, I'm going to hit it with my glitter glue, let it dry, and then add another 10 ml of fast set epoxy and let it dry for the three hours so that I can start the next step of the process. So at this point, I was still going with the idea of doing a swirl, just reverse of what my original plan was. So I thought that I would just take the glue for the foil, let it dry, just put it in the spots where I would want the swirl and apply it. And I still didn't like it. So I decided to just keep going with the glue and the foil and make it a distress tumbler, but I didn't want to cover all of this beautiful glitter. So I'm going to leave a couple of spots open so that you can have the glitter shine through. And I just kept repeating this process until I got it to the way that I really liked it. I have this really cool fluorescent vinyl that I got from the Vinyl Spectrum. It's super bright. So I decided to do some leopard spots on that. And the leopard spots that I decided to use are from Bear Trends, which is on Etsy. And I'll go ahead and link that in the description. And I just kind of placed all different colors all over the place so that I can get just a really, really nice full on neon leopard print. And then once I have them all applied, I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat of the Fast Set Epoxy. Once I go to apply this black vinyl to it, I didn't want there to be any ridges, so I wanted to put a layer of epoxy in between. So once the epoxy was dry, I'm going to go in now and put on all my black vinyl spots. This is just regular black permanent vinyl. And I just kind of filled it in in the way that I liked it to be.
So I showed this tumbler to a friend of mine. I actually showed it to her through the entire process because like I said, I was completely on the struggle bus with this. And she told me she loved the way it looked and she wanted the tumbler. So I went ahead and I put her name on it. I used Salty Feathers from DeFont. That's the font that I used. And I did a double offset with that. And once again, this vinyl is so bright that it just, her name just popped on the tumbler. And I'm going to go in with more of my fast set epoxy, let that dry for three hours, sanded everything really good, and went in with Flynn Sisters epoxy. I used 15 mLs on this 32 ounce plump. You can just see how beautiful the shine is as I'm applying it. I let that go for eight to 10 hours and then put it in my curing rack. So this was truly a trust the process. It did not go any direction the way that I thought it was going to, and it still turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm super excited with the way that it turned out. And I just started a new crafting group, a community for us to get together and talk about tumblers. It's Lily Bean Crafters Community, and I'm gonna go ahead and link it in the bottom. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial today. I hope you really liked it. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Check out my new crafting group. And I'm looking forward to see everybody again next Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye-bye.